and, and keep the Congress foreign. The air cargo, we will defend liberty to forsake it. It is true that since September 11th, uh, clearly the uh, horrific events in uh, Madrid uh, speak to the reason uh, that the broader international community is certainly united uh, to combat the, the scourge of international terrorism. The savagery, the inhumanity uh, of those attacks uh, undoubtedly will do uh, nothing but uh, strengthen an international resolve to uh, combat uh, terrorism in whatever form it takes, whatever faction is responsible for it. Uh, understanding that uh, we can work so hard to make us a program called the uh, Container Security Initiative. We have accumulated over the past uh, several decades. Uh, terrorists are not freedom fighters. And I think the world is slowly becoming to understand that and, and perhaps even more importantly beginning to understand that uh, we'll need an international resolve that is sustained over a long period of time in order to uh, defeat terrorists. There's no doubt in my mind that we will but it's clear that it's going to take a sustained international effort in order to do so. We have to balance that. And to that end, as we look at the... With regard to uh, uh, bin Laden's location, I think it just, uh, the, the only observation I make there is that uh, with the help of, uh, of, uh, of allies uh, uh, in the region and elsewhere, we continue uh, uh, to pursue him, and I have no doubt that in time uh, we will track him down and uh, uh, bring him to justice. But I and so I suggest that perhaps more so than anything... Right now we just uh, know that we are the primary target. Uh, every single day there's evidence of that in the information we receive, uh, either generating by our own intelligence community or by our friends around the world. So the fact that bin Laden or al-Zawahiri would say that uh, we're coming after you or that we're close to an attack, uh, we will, we know. Right here, please.